Ready, how's it going? Hey, I got some good news. Uh, just got off the phone with the wife. Little one's uh, thyroid level come back fine this time. Yay! Okay, that's the good news. The bad news is, is her good cholesterol is low and her bad cholesterol is high. And the sugars are just still a little off, but uh, I just got to get her to watch what she eats. And, and uh, she's low on vitamin D. Real low, so. Which I find out find, funny because... Uh, she spent a lot of time out this side this summer, so. But we're trying to make it in the town to get gas again. Uh, I was going to drive the old van over the there because it's got working AC because it's getting rather hot. And uh, but last night I had to fix a tire on the kid's car and I checked the tires on the front of that van. Put my hand on the inside. Thank God I didn't slide it because I would have sliced my hand up. Steel belts are sticking out of the front tires. I'm like, hey, okay, park that. <laughs> uh, so I'm heading to the doctor now. To, uh, then I got some issues with my daughter and her for significant other, whatever you want to call him. Um, I gotta get my wagon back from there too they were using it to throw junk in and so I gotta bring my wagon home back to the farm and uh, there's a lot of running to do and I want the heads off that truck today so I can see if I can clean them up myself or if I'm gonna have to take them in somewhere and have them cleaned and not tanked and double checked why I got it apart but uh, well we'll get to town and Get things are rolling for today. So, all right. I'd say the oil change wasn't kept up in this after it was rebuilt. But that's okay. I can get them clean. I was taking them in to have them clean, crack checked. But uh, anyway, I uh, just got done taking off the fashioner side rocker arms. And let's see. I can get you guys set. Uh, what are you guys seeing? Okay, right there. Uh, yeah, I just got back from the doctors a little bit ago. I'm not happy. More meds. And, uh, says it's not a bug related because you can't find nothing on me showing bugs. He says, might end up having to go to an Nummy solution. Like whatever, just fix it. So already. Ain't even. Ain't even good. Uh, I'll cover gaskets. I don't know. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's and I'll tell you guys right now, I'm not saying the way I do stuff is the correct way, right way, or the wrong way. It's just my way. stuff I found that has worked for me so so now we're getting down to the part I don't really look forward to taking the exhaust manifolds off like I said, I'm just going to pull these off, clean them, put them in, runner. Our throw parts all over the place. Alrighty. Yeah. 
just spattered a little oil all over the place that time. Hopefully I didn't get the camera. Well, I guess it's time to uh, jack this dog up, get the exhaust manifolds unbolted, and then come up here and take the man manifolds off. And uh, now I got you here. Get clean hands here. I'll take some carb cleaner and spray it in there. Don't that look a lot better? But I guess we won't know the true story until after I get the head off to make sure the cylinder ain't broke. Back over here. So. Anyway, I guess try and keep my mind off my itching. I'm going to try and keep busy today. Don't know how well I'll succeed. Anyway. Alright. We'll keep them moving here. Well, I'm not having no fun here. Uh, I got underneath to undo that exhaust. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I don't have a torch and there's no way... No freaking way that uh, I can get those nuts off without a torch. And then even having the torch, I don't know if I can, but... So I've had to pry this manifold out of the way. And get in there and work with those. Which will make it a little bit of a bitch when I go to put it back together. Unless I end up pulling the motor out. Which I don't know yet. We got one, two, three, four more bolts and... We'll be ready to crack her open and see what we got. Or don't have. So. It's gotten really dark out. I thought we were going to have some storms by now. Because it went from nice and sunny and getting hot to dark and windy. And now it's kind of calmed down. So, Well, we're about ready to get the problem side of the motor apart. And uh, see what we got. So. All right. Yeah, I'm going to kind of try and do this careful with you guys. All the bolts are out. So it's time to lift the heads. I've made a big mess all over the shop. Ooh! All the heads are out. Oh, all the bolts are out. Yeah, there she popped. There's the crack of a... Really? Ground strip. You guys are still in the shot. Ow! Ouch. Really? Problem. 
see the light on it. Right there. Shade out right there. Right there is where the problem is. This is what it's supposed to look like. Not like that, so I was going through there and cool. Now I'll just have to roll the motor over a little. Get the cylinder, get number eight down to see what it looks like and um yeah, I'll get that rolled over and we'll see what it looks like. Here's why you do gaskets in pairs. Here's what I found on the driver's side. That gasket was letting loose. So, I think we're just going to throw the gaskets in, get the heads cleaned up, and I got to get the dowel pins out. Got that head laying in the trash upside down right now. Get these heads cleaned up, and after, like I said, closer looking than that, I think the block's okay, other than the fact that it's a 60 over 350, but hey, I guess as long as we were on, I pulled a trailer in that, uh, what the hell. And I get run this one, because I, you know, it's 60 over, just will run it until it grenades because there's no rebuilding it. It's done. Um, unless you want to spend the money for sleeves, if you're going to do that, you just will buy a brand new block. So we'll just run this motor until she craps out. And in the meantime, I'll find me another. I know where there's some more of these motors like, like this. And I'll get a motor rebuilt sometime. I have a core laying here, so if this one goes boom, we got something to work with. So, yep, I just got to get everything cleaned up, shined up, and uh, blowed out, vacked out. And I'll see how the stuff comes out of the oil pan here. Now that I've got a little pour part, pulled apart, I'll wash the da lifter valley down one more time. And that. And uh, we'll start. Um, 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 Get in the pan drain, then I could take my little light and stick up in there and see if I got a bunch of gunk. If I got a bunch of gunk, then while well, I've got the heads and everything off, I might go ahead and uh, pop the motor mounts loose, get the cherry picker in here, lift up the pan, and drop the pan. I don't know. But then again, pull those bolts and six, twelve. 14, 17 more bolts is motored beyond the engine stand, so I'm trying to keep from doing a major rebuild. Well, there is no major rebuild, and all I could do with this is clean it and uh, rear ring it, bury it, gasket it, and throw it in and see how long she lives. So. Anyway, uh, I guess this uh, hopefully is a shorter video than the others, and uh, now just clean everything up and start prepping it to go back together. So, I guess that's all we can do. But I guess that's right there why if you got one head gasket out, you do them both. Because if I hadn't, I sure should be pulling a, pulling a half part again to do the driver's side. So. Like I said, if they would have put, well, then again, if they would have put good gaskets in it, I wouldn't own this truck now either, would I? So, all right, well, I guess this is part three. We got the heads off and uh, inspected. I think it's just a matter of getting everything good and washed up. And actually, I just had another thought. I might take those heads to the car wash and just power wash the holy ever lizard, the lever, lever behavior's out of them and, uh, call it good so all right thanks for watching part four will be coming up i guess all right